Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kalamagan. <laughs> Look how beautiful this place is! everyone and welcome to Palaman Pond. So we are here today to head to an island called Kalamangan Island. This is like the ferry port right here. Uh, it was very easy to get here because we had our same car we had previous. Uh, so if you guys ever want, are visiting Leyte, I really highly recommend getting yourself a car to get around because it has just made our lives so much easier. We could have originally got a van but the van would have just been way too much effort, we would have had to get enough super early. But just having this car has given us so much more freedom. But this island looks so amazing, we just paid for the tickets. Tickets for the ferry is 375 each. Oh, we bought them right now. <laughs> and it's about an hour and a half ride to get to Kalamangan Island. Are you ready, mate? I'm ready. Are we boarding now? We are. Okay, I did not know we are boarding now. Let's go. Righto, let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kalamagan Island. <laughs> Look how beautiful this place is! We've got a giant long sandbank here. This sand, oh my god, this sand is so white and soft. Wow, the water is some of the bluest water I have seen. This is the moment I've been waiting for when I come to the Philippines. Oh my god, this place looks beautiful. So we have up to four hours, up until 12 o'clock to chill out. The island is so small. It's literally, it's as far as you can see to the sandbank and you literally walk this whole island in 20 minutes. Okay, righto, so we're gonna go snorkeling, we're gonna chill, we're gonna soak up the sun and just have a good time, people. I was worried you blow my reputation but if you're gonna start on me, yeah, yeah, yeah The way you're making me shiver, you're handsome or silver Keep pulling the trigger, alright This very finger for people like them, oh no, no But darling, oh my, my, I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now I'm like a golden crown, whirling high up in the sky
Rivers in the jungle, baby, we are right We don't care much for people like them We don't care much for people like them But I lay on my mind, I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now I'm like a golden crown, world and high now made it to the very other end of this island so it's sort of a it's kind of similar they've got like a big sand bank along the other end of the island and right here i got a perfect view of the other islands around me so right out in the distance there it might be hard to see but that is Cebu and then one of these islands is Malapasqua so in a few more days, I'm actually going to be going to Malapasqua, so be sure to follow up on that video. And tomorrow, I'm going to be heading to Cebu City, where I'll be attending Sinologue. So it's just like a big festival. As I am posting this video, I've probably already posted the Sinologue video, so be sure to watch that if you haven't already. But how beautiful is this island? And just take in the the fact that there is no tourists. Like, I feel like I've, I don't even know if I've seen many other foreigners just other than me and Tal. Like, it's very rare that you get to experience beautiful islands like this, but have it very quiet, like not completely crowded by tourists. The places I'm gonna be going to over the next few weeks throughout the Philippines, they will be beautiful as well, but they will be touristy. Like, I can guarantee they'll be touristy. Malapasqua, I bet you there's going to be a bunch of tourists there. So this is a good reason to come to Leyte, to come to Samar, because like a lot of people don't really visit these places that much because the off, it's kind of on the off-beaten track and it's just not really well known. There's not many videos about these places. There's not many blogs about these places, but that's why I'm here to sort of inform you guys of what's around the area. I want to try to encourage people to come to these islands I want to encourage people to visit these places that a lot of tourists don't visit because they are well worth it and you'll just have an amazing experience. So, take my word guys, Leyte is beautiful, Leyte has some amazing islands, so be sure to come here. You better be there when I shake, watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead, go and catch me, baby. Oh, how good is this? I didn't even know they had it, but it seems like they have like accommodation through here. So all these little huts, yeah, they must sit up tiny little beds inside there so if you ever want to spend a good amount of time here you could get yourself an accommodation in these tiny little huts and I feel like they would have a bunch of entertainment because they've got like um, they've got like a good undercover area set up there I'm sure they would have like barbecues food and a lot to keep you occupied on this island if you're staying here.
Uh, so Tal went out of his way on a mission to find us some coconuts. Apparently it was a bit harder than expected. Come to my <laughs> channel if you want to see how I got them. <laughs> <laughs> so we were really craving a coconut. It's always the best way to end the day. So cheers, mm, mate. Cheers, bro. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Nothing better than a fresh coconut on a tropical island. Okay, dokey. So our time here in Kalagaman Island has now come to an end, sadly. It's probably a good time to leave as well because it, it's right now 12 o'clock and there's starting to be more and more tourists coming over. So like that little sand bay that we're at this morning, that is just full of people. <laughs> so if you're going to get here, it is best to get here early in the morning. So I think we got the boat ride over around 7am. 7, 7 and it is also really good to get yourself a renter car. So I'll leave the links in the description for the car we rented today because it's such a good company. We rented it yesterday for the whole entire day. It's just the best way to get around Leyte and it, it just gives you so much more freedom. So be sure to check that out if you want to go on a little road trip adventure yourself. And also, this is going to be the last time you'll see this beautiful oh. face. So this is going to be the last video Tar will be in. Like, we're going to be heading to Cebu City tomorrow, but I'm going to be posting that video out early. So if you haven't seen that one, check that out as well. Yeah. But oh my God, man, it has been, it has been three months. I first met Tal in Sri Lanka. We didn't even know each other. <laughs> And we have gone on a three month wild adventure. Did not expect it to go on for this long. Did it not expect it at all. It was so good. Like this is the this is the longest time I've ever traveled with like one solo backpacker. And, and I couldn't ask anyone. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. We'll kind of a moment here, right? <laughs> Captain just looking at us. We'll just right uh, we'll just like you good? Oh yeah, I think he's good. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask anyone better to travel around the Philippines and Sri Lanka with because it has been an epic time. Tal has shown me so much like through the YouTube industry, through travel, through everything because he's been traveling around for like the past five years. So if you haven't already guys, check out his channel, follow it, show him some love because it has been an amazing time. Thanks guys. I love you. I, <laughs> I love you all. I love Brandon. It's been an epic adventure and I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing him again. He can't run away from me. Yes. Not yet. We, we do have plans. I'm not going to tell you exactly what they are, but we do have plans of meeting up in the future, probably a few months down the track. Mm -hmm. So you'll see him again. Don't worry guys, you'll see him again. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Tal's channel, The Traveling Clut. Be sure to visit Leyte, be sure to visit Samar, be sure to visit this beautiful island, ladies and gentlemen. And thanks for watching, follow your dreams and escape your comfort zone. Bye.